Hello, I'm Tom B92, and today we have ourselves a goat farm. This goat farm is super simple to build with not many redstone resources needed. The goats up at the top level are our breeding goats, and this bottom area here is going to be our chamber for where we will pick up our goat horns before eventually killing off the goats once they have all lost their horns. With as many adults as you want bred up in the top chamber here, you're ready then to push them down to the next level using this lever over here. Once the fence post has moved out of the way, the goats that aren't leashed will drop to the next level. When on the next level, they will start to be aggroed against the baby chicken that is in the boat in this corner here and we'll start hitting the stone blocks around dropping their goat horns and there we have it goat here has rammed the stone blocks and has dropped his goat horn now after all of the goats have dropped their horns you are then able to lava them now you can move them out if you'd rather keep hold of them but as we're using this top level to breed extras up it we will move these out of the way to remove any form of entity any form of mobs in the area just to keep be friendly for lag now to do that we will flick this switch over here which then unleashes the lava from the dispensers we're using the nether wood for all of the fence posts and the trap doors so it's friendly for whether you have fire tick on or off and it will protect the chicken in the boat either way these are the materials you will need for this build the glass blocks can be replaced with any other block, but glass allows you to see into the farm. It is important that you use a nether wood for these features. Smooth stone can be substituted for any building block. I've used those just for the visual representative. These are dispensers and not droppers. Leads you'll need as many for goats you will hold in the breeding pen. The egg is a representative of the chicken. The ladder is completely optional, but is survival friendly to get up to the breeding section. So let's get into the block by block build. For the overall build, you're gonna need a 10 by eight area and that will cover the whole levels of this build. The bottom level where we will build the rail and where the killing area, the ramming area will be, will be where the smooth stone is marked out within the whole build there, which is a five by eight. We've also marked out two holes. These can kind of go anywhere that you think is suitable for where you want to build. And this is going to be where our output will be. This is going to be where our chest and our hopper system will go. We're going to place our two chests into this surface area here. We are then going to add a hopper into the back of it. And this will be our collection point. We are then going to make an assortment of rails which will see the minecart with hopper circle all the way around and come back in a continuous loop. Now for us to do that we need to ensure that we have blocks at either end of this cause and they are going to be diagonally opposite from each other at the ends of the circuit. We are then going to use powered rail with redstone blocks placed underneath. So if you follow something similar to this, your minecart with hopper should function all the way through. Here, it's important not to place a redstone block behind a hopper, because if you do, the hopper will not pick anything up, as you can see here with the redstone block just hovering above on top. So here, what you need to ensure is that the redstone block goes to the side of it. This way around will then ensure that the hopper will pick up the goods. We're going to clear out some space here for some redstone blocks and on top of these redstone blocks we're going to have our powered rail. We're going to clear out a line of blocks here. We're going to clear out a line of blocks here. And we're going to place our redstone blocks in these gaps. We're then going to add in our powered rails. So we're going to start at both corners. We're going to start with two here and three here. We're then going to continue to add powered rail across the redstone blocks ensuring that there's two connections on each one. If you find that your powered rails don't connect, you should be able to sort that out by adding in some normal rails on either end and that will straighten them back out. Now with a rail, something similar to this, you may have more already in place. We're gonna try and connect all of this up and this is, really, this is really straightforward. We just need to continue placing normal rails. If they connect up to our previous rails, we just need to knock that out and continue back around. When you get to the hopper, you have to crouch over it so you can place on top of the hopper and we're going to continue around here making a loop. Once you're finished you should have something looking like that. 
Our next part of the build is the platform for where the goats will be ramming our chicken. Now the easiest way to do this, whether you're in survival or creative, is to shift and click over the rails. And this, we're gonna be following the same outline that we put down with our smooth stone. So we're just gonna fill that in with stone. Once you have finished, you should have something looking like that. You'll have a block in between, which will be where the minecart of hopper goes and you'll have a level of stone. We're now gonna add one level of stone around the edges, and this will go all the way around. You can miss the corners, there's no essential for the corners, but I am gonna fill, fill in the corners. And once you're done, you should have something looking like this. Our next step is to get our chicken in place, and to do this, we're gonna mark out the area in which we want our boat to sit. And we're going to do this by leaving ourselves a four area in this corner, in our top left corner. So we're going to lay four warped trapdoors here. We're going to place a boat into this area. And then we want to try and get a chicken into the boat. Now in survival, you can lead a chicken using seeds and you can make a little stairway all the way up to this build and then put them into the boat. Once you have your chicken in the boat, we can then add a level of stone above our trap doors. Again, similar to what we did with the rails, we can shift click over here. These are gonna be the blocks that the goat is gonna try and target and aim for with the chicken underneath here. The trap doors here are gonna ensure that the lava doesn't burn the boat and the chicken and that the chicken will stay there, keeping it surviving for the rest of the build. Now I'm gonna cover these over. You don't have to, there's no need to, there's no necessity but I will do just for the sake of this build. Now we're gonna to look to add our dispensers and the dispensers at this level are gonna be where the lava comes out. The first dispenser here is gonna go in line with our second trap door here and it's gonna face inwards. So it's gonna place like this. This is just a correction for our bottom dispenser. Our bottom dispenser actually needs to move two blocks over our dispenser was here. It needs to be here. Our second dispenser is gonna go somewhere in line with this second trapdoor, and it's gonna go on the far corner here, again, facing inwards. Now we have those in place, we're gonna make a second level of the wall. I'm using glass, you can use any block here, but obviously using glass will allow you to see into the build. You should then have the second level of the wall, and now we're gonna to look to add in our second platform where our goats will breed. I'm going to use smooth stone to make sure this is visual. However, you needn't have to. This could be any building block of any sort. This platform should be four by six. We're going to add in our next dispenser and this is going to be the dispenser that will send our water through. And we're just going to use a temporary block here in our far corner, which is just one up and across from our dispenser here. We're going to place our dispenser again facing inwards and we're gonna place a solid block. This is important that this is a solid block, not a glass block, and that enables the dispenser to be triggered. Once we've done that, we're gonna add a two high wall again, all the way around the outside. Again, I'm using glass, but you can use any block. I am also gonna ensure that there are no gaps on this bottom level, so no goats will jump out. So it should look something like that. We're now gonna take out this bottom corner here and this is gonna be where our goats are gonna feed through to the bottom level. We're gonna add in our warped fence here and that will stop our goats getting down to the next level and it will look something like that. On the inside, we don't need these blocks here because we're gonna add in a sticky piston. Our sticky piston should be two blocks away, not extended, and when our power is extended, it will take the fence post with it. We then need to get some glass blocks here and here, and that keeps the pen all enclosed. Now we're gonna add in a roof on top of this top level here, and we're gonna make sure there's one trap door somewhere in the build. This trap door can be any wood type. Lava will not be affected up here, so we can use spruce or any overworld wood. Um, we don't have to use the nether woods here. Once you're finished, you should have something like this with a wall and a, and a roof on top with one trap door available. Now what we need to do is try and hook up our redstone. So in order to do this, we need to connect something up from this piston 
and that dispenser that is going to dispense water. Just to show where our redstone line will be, I've replaced some of the glass blocks with stone blocks, but we've placed one block to the left of the sticky piston. On top of that, we're going to place a lever. You can see this now powers the sticky piston and we'll move the fence post with it. Now we need to run a redstone line from here to that dispenser here, so they're both on the same lever pull. Now, you might find your line is slightly different and that's perfectly fine. All we need to ensure is that the redstone power reaches that dispenser. With the lever turned on, you can see the power to your redstone. So keep following it over, bringing it across, and eventually you'll find that the signal starts to die. The signal starts to die when the color is darker here. And in order to extend the signal, we're going to add in a repeater. The repeater does not need to have any ticks of delay. You can leave it where it is to begin with. And this is just to carry on the extension of the signal. Now, once that's done, you should then hear the dispenser trigger. We're going to add in our water bucket into this top dispenser. Now, just to test this, we'll play around with the lever. You will find that you might need to pull it a couple of times so they're all in sync. So the second dispensed the water and the third pulled the fence post away. If we then do it twice more, you'll see the fence post is back in place and the water has gone from the dispenser. Now, the next thing we want to do is actually get some goats in place. So I'm going to be using spawn eggs, but in survival, you can make another tower up, clear some of these roof blocks, use wheat and lead the goats up and just knock them into the pen. These are going to be your breeding goats. So you can use as many as you want. And this will be what impacts your rates of your farm. Obviously, two goats make one baby goat and so on and so forth and you won't push them down until they're fully grown. The next thing for us to try and do is put them into a stable position because if we were to dispense that water now and move the fence post, they will drop down to the next level. So this is where we'll need to use a couple of leads. Or in my example, before leads, depending upon how many goats you want to keep at this top level, you will need that many leads. For us to do this, what we're gonna do is place three fence posts. These two can be any blocks, in fact. We're gonna knock them out we're gonna leash them to here. Now, the reason we're using warped fence is because I found in a bit of testing that the lava somehow managed to burn the fence post and they became disconnected and disappeared again. So we're gonna use warped fence post here and we're gonna connect them up with leads. Drop down into your pod and stick leads on them all, knock out a block and attach them like so. Make your way out, fill that block, block your trap door in, and now you should have a fully enclosed pod. We can test this again by using this lever here. The water is on. I'm still connected to this one, which is why he's come down. But you can see here there that those are sticking to the fence post and they won't come down. So we can keep breeding and anyone that's not attached to a lead will stay up there. You can continue to expand this. You could add multiple fence posts, multiple goats, as many goats as you want. This area is customizable to what you need. You need one fence post for this amount of goats, but you also need as many leads as you have goats. Now we need to hook up our two lava dispensers. The goats are already off here, giving me examples of what's gonna happen. But we need to hook up these two dispensers here, which are gonna be our lava dispensers. So we're gonna add in another lever here, and this is gonna be our power. We're then gonna add a redstone dust just around the outside, and this one is a lot simpler than the other. We're just gonna turn this on just again to show the power. We're just gonna follow around the edges. All I've done is add two stone blocks on the outside here, starting with the right Starting with the dispenser, going one back and one to the left. The redstone will follow over to the dispenser here, and you should hear that trigger once again. Now we can add our lava into each of these dispensers. And just to prove that the concept works, we are going to trigger it. And that spare goat has been killed off. But you can see how the warp trap doors here are kind of stopping the lava so the chicken is safe but everything else on that level will be destroyed with lava two flicks of the lever should then re-dispense the bucket and take the lava away and we're at a clean platform once we have a clean platform this farm is ready to go we just need to add back in our minecart hopper like so 
which will power up and that will take all of our goat horns once the goats are ready to go. Now to be survival friendly you could add some ladders here which will take you up to the top. You could add any sort of blocks around here so you can get around and then climb the ladder up here. With your wheat in hand you should then be able to breed your goats and you should start be able to make babies. In theory if you only have two at the start you could leash that one and add it to your fence post so you can continue to grow as many goats as you want up the top here. Once you have as many goats as you want bred up and adult it is important that they are adults you are then ready to release them down to the next level. Sometimes they may not even need the water, they may just drop down immediately. They might also fight, so give them a chance to drop down. Sometimes just playing around with the fence post will make sure they drop down. And now we're at goat territory where they will look to target the chicken. Once all your goats on the bottom level have lost their horns, they'll be looking a little sad, but you should find that you have plenty of goat horns in your chest below. You also will start getting some eggs, you know, but added bonus of the farm. But now these goats are deemed useless. You can, if you want to, change this farm so they flood out and you could move them back up to the top here so they're ready for breeding, more leads, more fence posts. But this farm will just kill them off because we're going to have enough at the top for what we want. So again, with a flick of this lever twice, the lava will start to come out and anything that is on the floor will get burnt up. So it's important to make sure that your minecart with Hopper has had the time to be able to pick up any of the goat horns that are lying around. Two flicks again and the lava will disappear and that is the farm complete. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. This is my first tutorial and I hope it's been a success and you will find it useful. If you do enjoy this video and find the farm useful, please do remember to like and subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you in some of my Let's Play episodes.